Welcome to 8.11's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade math, students continue to work with volume and really focused on working with the volume formula of length times width times height. So in the first example, in the first example it says write a numerical expression for the volume and then find the volume. So numerical expression seems like a really fancy thing, but all it means is to write out the equation that we're going to use. We are going to take the length, which in this case is 4. We're going to take times the width, which in this case is 9. And then we're going to take it times the height, which in this case is 6. All right, so this is our numerical expression, just writing out what we're going to solve. And then we need to go ahead and solve it. So 4 times 9 is 36 times 6. I'm going to have to pull that to the side and try it. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, for a final answer and volume of 216. Now, I cannot just leave it as 216 when I know what my um, unit of measure is. I'm working in feet. I need to include that label as well. And then because I'm working with volume and I'm working with three different dimensions, I'm going to add my um, cubed unit as well with that um, little three there that accompanies my feet. So for a final answer of 216 feet cubed. The next example, what students needed to do today was to find an unknown dimension. So in this case, they were given the volume and they had to find one of the missing dimensions, either length, width, or height. So what we really encourage and practice with students today is setting up the volume formula first and then plugging in the information you have. So I have that the volume is 294, I have that the length is 7, I have that the width is 6, and I'm missing the height, so I'm just going to leave it as h. And now I'm going to solve with what I have. So 7 times 6 I know is 42. I still have 42 times h equals 294. So in order to solve this problem and find the missing um, height, I'm actually going to just do the opposite operation. So I see times, but I know I can't times these two amounts to find my height. That wouldn't make sense. So I need to do the opposite operation of times, which would be division. And I need to take 294 divided by 42, and that will give me my height. So I know that 42 cannot go into 2, and it can't go into 29. So I need to find something that will get me pretty close to 294. So I'm going to go ahead and try 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. And I need to go a little bit higher. So I'm going to try 42 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 1 is 29. Yes! Gets me exactly what I need. So I know that my height is going to be 7 because I know that 42 times 7 is exactly 294. So if your student really wanted to check their math and go back and make sure that they had the correct information, they would be able to plug the length, width, and height now into the formula to make sure that they get 294. If you have any other questions about working with the volume formula, make sure to see your math teacher.